Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be feeding my baby box turtles. So these are the babies from Ralph and Apollo. So I'm gonna be showing a quick run through of how I feed them and what I feed them. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So for this video shout out, we're gonna be shouting out the Reptile Den. So make sure to subscribe to his channel, link in the description. Let's get straight to the video. So I always feed the babies inside of this turtle feeding box. It's just a small container that I use. As you can see, it's very dirty because I fed them yesterday. So we're just gonna go wash this real quick and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so now that the container is clean, it is now time to get the turtles. But first, there is one big tip that I wanna explain is to always feed your baby box turtles in the morning. Always in the morning, as early as possible. Um, they really are most hungry and most active in the morning. In the afternoon, there's a less chance that they will eat. So you always wanna feed them in the morning. But without any further ado, let's go get the baby turtles. So right here is the baby box turtle tank. So you can see there's one there, one back there, and then one right there in the water. So we're gonna first take this off. We're gonna remove this lamp and get the baby turtles in our hands. Turtle number one, turtle number two, and turtle number three. So right here are the three baby box turtles and I always like to rinse them before I feed them because they are very dirty and muddy. So I just wanna like wash them with a little bit of water. No soap, nothing like that. Um, you always wanna just wash them with water because they might have some bacteria in there that they may ingest. So this is how I wash the little turtle. I just wash him like that, get the mud off, and just like that, he's done. As you can see, he's very active, so that means he's really hungry. So here are the babies. Now we're gonna put them inside the enclosure, and here they go inside of the tank. So we're gonna leave them here for a few minutes while we go search for earthworms. So this is actually very good for them to sit in the natural sunlight, because even though they have artificial lamps, it is nothing compared to the sun's natural lighting. So now we're gonna go to where we get the earthworms for them. So for searching for earthworms, it's very, very easy to find them. Depending on your area, actually, if you live in somewhere like with dry soil, it might be harder for you. But here in South Carolina, it rains every often. So you could just find them under every rock. So you look under here, we, aren't having, we haven't found any yet. So we're gonna go under the next rock and we're gonna find some more. So as you can see here, I just got these earthworms out of this rock. I just found them. So we're gonna take these and just keep them in our hand for now until we find some more. So these are the earthworms that we'll be using right here. As you can see, the turtles are already pretty hungry looking. So as you can see, some of them here are very big. So what you're just gonna wanna do is cut them right here. I'm not gonna show that on camera because that's very nasty. But um, you just wanna cut them here with your hands or your scissors or whatever, because they will not eat something that is this big. Also, you might want to put some little bit of water in here, just enough to where they can soak, not drown, because they might burn up in the sun. So now the worms are cut. Now we're gonna put them in front of the little babies and watch them eat in a time lapse. All right guys, so now that the turtles have eaten most of their food, they are now done for the day. They'll be fed maybe the day after tomorrow or tomorrow, depending on how hungry they are. So we're just gonna put these guys back in their enclosure and then I'll come back out here. All right, so now the baby turtles are back in their enclosure and I also put in the leftover earthworms inside of there as well so that they can eat. All right guys, so that'll be it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, I'll be making more fall prep videos. There's one coming out later today on the garden. So stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure to leave a comment if you guys want a shout out or any of those kinds of perks. That will be it. So um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.